Hi, in this video we'll learn about a marginal probability density function. To do this, we're actually going to learn how to obtain the marginal probability density function from a joint probability density function. And here's the example we're looking at. Let the random variable x denote the time until the computer server connects to your machine, and let the random variable y denote the time until the server authorizes you as a valid user. Um, both x and y are random variables that measure wait time at a starting point, and we're given the extra condition that the random variable y is greater than x. We are given also the joint probability density function for x and y, and it is f of x, y, and here's the joint density function. And again, we have the condition that x is less than y. We also know, because they're both times, that uh, x is greater than 0 and y is also greater than 0. So the region of interest where this joint probability density function is defined is the area above uh, the line y equals x in the first quadrant of the Cartesian coordinate system. Now we're finding a probability uh, about y, the probability that y exceeds 2,000 milliseconds. So if we're going to compute something um, having to do with the random variable y, it would be really nice to have the probability density function for y. So that's what we're going to do. Um, you could actually find the probability of y um, a couple different ways, but what I'd like to do is go ahead and get the joint probability density function for y first, and then find the probability that y exceeds 2,000 after we already have that function. Now, to determine the probability density function for y, which we actually call um, the marginal density function. So if you're given a joint and you just get uh, the density function in x, x or y, we usually call these the marginals. So the marginal density function of y, given that we have the joint, um, is going to involve integrating the joint um, over x's. So to find f of y of y, what I'm going to do is set up uh, an integral that goes over the x's um, defined by this region. So for this region of interest, it was this upper triangular part of this figure. Um, my x's, um, so given any y, my x's start at this line, which is the line x equals 0. And then uh, they go ahead and travel all the way over here to the line x equals y. So to find f of y, I integrate in my x's. So for any y, my x's go from 0 to y. And then I integrate the joint density function. So let me go ahead and write that in. And again, we're integrating in x's, so this is dx. So let me go ahead and take this over to the next slide so we have a little bit of room to do the integration. Um, and let me set this up for you again. So f of y, uh, we integrate over our x's. And x's went from 0 to 1,000. And we integrated our joint density function in x's. OK, so this is just an integration problem. And we're going to get a function in y's. And then we'll have our function f of y and be able then to solve the problem, uh, find the probability that x exceeds 2,000 milliseconds. So let me go ahead and uh, determine this uh, function for you. I've already done the integration before starting the video. Um, it's 6 times 10 to the negative 3 times e to the negative 0.002y times the quantity 1 minus e to the negative 0.001y. And this holds for y is greater than 0. So if you want to make sure this is a valid function, you can. Here's f of y. It's defined uh, for y is greater than 0. Go ahead and integrate that for y is greater than 0. And you'll find that its area is 1. So now what we'd like to do is find the probability that y exceeds 2,000. And we have f of y. So now we're back to what I consider an easy um, univariate problem. So the probability that y is greater than 2,000, we're just going to use the function that we just determined, f of y. So again, f of y is this function. So I'm going to integrate f of y from 2,000 to infinity. And I'll just use the symbol f of y of y dy. And I went ahead and integrated that already, and I get 0.05. So um, let's review what we did in this video. Is we took the joint um, probability density function, and out of it, 
um, we integrated over our x variable and got the marginal density function for y, and then we used that marginal density function to find the probability concerning y. So uh, I hope this uh, helps give you a look at how the marginal and the joint are connected, how to get the marginal when you have the joint, and then finding probabilities using just a univariate distribution is similar to what you've done in earlier chapters when you just had one variable. So I hope this helps, and uh, this is a nice lesson, I think, on the marginal density function.